So in this video, I will show you a live project example how a testing project looks. Uh, this is one of the uh, crowdsourcing project, testing project, and uh, there is a specific uh, requirement for testing for the client. Right? So I will show you. So what is the client project and uh, what are the requirements? So what kind of testing is needed uh, for this project? Um, so, so you can see what is a real testing project will look like, right? Uh, please watch this video full till the end uh, to get to know the actual testing project requirements. And uh, if you have any questions, you can comment on the, uh, disc, um, the description section in the video below, right? Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, QA Tutorials. Uh, to get uh, uh, to view the latest videos I post in this channel, click on the bell icon to get notifications. Uh, let's get started and see what is this uh, uh, testing requirements for the project. So here is one of the test project. I will show you and. Uh, so this is a uh, background information like okay this is the test plan for the project right uh, this is the test project test cycle uh, this is a uh, crowdsourcing testing project so let me zoom it up a little bit so that you can see clearly what is in this uh, thing so this is the test cycle uh, crowdsourcing managed service is basically uh, the main object is cross browser and responsive testing for compatible devices right the customer requested for uh, testing for compatible devices uh, for cross browser testing right so what is the type of testing needs to be performed cross browser and responsive testing and device compatibility testing so we need to test on different browsers and how responsive is the application on different browsers and different devices right so you can also do uh, broken links and grammar checks right so the testing needs to be confirmed carried out on different devices and operating systems and uh, various browsers right android smartphones ios smartphones and ipads and uh, also on different operating systems right operating systems on browser details right so minimum acceptable android operating system is 8.0 minimum preferred android operating system version is 9.0 right so these are the requirements for the uh, customer uh, minimum iOS version is 13.1 for mobiles and tablets uh, it will be Apple and Samsung as priority so only the testing client prefers uh, testing on Apple and Samsung devices for browsers Chrome Safari and Firefox is first priority other browsers Edge IE will be focused at the end that's the main priorities Chrome Safari and Firefox <coughs> what are the browser versions chrome 84.0 and above safari on iphone chrome on android safari version 13.1 and above and safari on ipad so these are the browser versions that customer is inter interested in testing right testers can also add any latest android smartphones ios smartphones ios ipads and latest browser versioning for testing right so testing should be carried out on following devices iphone 11 version 13 iphone 11 uh, pro max right iphone x apple ipad on right devices so this is what uh, the various devices what is the testing type is this cross browser and device compatibility testing right and uh, so what you need to have knowledge right you should have knowledge on cross browser and device compatibility testing so if you don't know about this i will probably cover this in the uh, later part of my video tutorials 
prior expertise in crowd testing of web application in desktop browsers and mobile browsers, excellent communication skills, ability to probe and deep dive into workflow driven application. So this is a workflow driven application. Um, so I will show you once I get access to this application. Ability to report issues and log defects in a manner that the logged issues are reproducible. So that is the main goal. So if you start logging issues, they should be reproducible. This is the testing time frame. Testing method is manual. So what is the scope? Uh, two email IDs are required for the project. So what is the scope of this uh, uh, testing, right? So we need to test ex external login screen, internal login screen, field home page, WSH landing page, technology like search bars, menus, breadcrumbs, promoted content and all breadcrumbs. So these are the things that are in scope. And these are the features that need to be tested. Accordions, images, tables, bullet points, search page, right? So we need uh, detailed test scripts along with screenshots will be emailed. So they provide uh, detailed. Uh, uh, so defect needs to be reported along against these functional components. So there should be defects reported about my account, bookmarks, field knowledge, work health, safety, technology, sitemap, feedback. So we need to test these home page search pages. So we need to test those pages and raise defects. These are the out of scope. Functional defects are considered out of scope because this is mainly for cross browser and responsive testing. Functional testing is not required for this, right? Um, so testing is required only for device compatibility and cross browser testing and broken links and grammar issues. There is more use cases. Is there any known defects? So functional testing as told or out of scope, right? So this is the basic uh, uh, requirement document and uh, uh, project requirement, right? So I will show you once I get more details, I will show you what uh, how the test cycle is executed and what kind of defects found in the project later on right thank you so if you have any questions put it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel